Jeremiah chapter 9, verse 31. <coughs> Our Father and our God is again, Lord, that we humbly come to you in prayer. We thank you for the day you've given us. Thank you for the people that have come this way to worship you this morning. God, I pray that, that we do worship in spirit and truth. Yes. But God, I also pray if there's one here that don't know what they is our own personal sake, they don't have confidence and security in the blood of Christ. We pray, Lord, that we be more in the God, we pray for those that are out of church today. Lord, we pray for Brother Jerry. He's back yes. in the hospital. Pray for his wife. Lord. She's tired and weary. So many, Lord, Brother Larry and Amanda, just different ones, Lord, that, uh, that needs our prayer. We need, a, need your prayer for the church. We need the prayer for the lost nine souls near as hell this morning. Be with us, bless us, and guide us in Christ's name. Amen. 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 In the book of Nehemiah, chapter 9 and verse 31, it says, Nevertheless, for thy great mercy's sake, thou didst not utterly consume thee, nor forsake thee, for thou art a gracious and a merciful God. Now, what he's talking about. <laughs> He's talking about the nation of Israel. <clears throat> and I'll tell you something. And I, I really want you to listen to me. I'm not preaching a doctrinal message. I'm not preaching something that, that shouldn't. Missionary Baptist, Pre Old Baptist, Church of God, Pentecost. I don't care what it is. And I don't care what you call yourself. But you need to understand what I'm preaching to you this morning. Amen. And what I'm preaching to you about is grace. Sometimes I get to preach on a subject that I really like, Kevin. And I really like grace. Amen. People categorize preachers. And if they put, a, put me in a category, they would say that I am a grace preacher. And I thank God that I am a grace preacher. Amen. I believe in the grace of God. I believe for my grace through faith he is saved, and that not of yourself, but it's a gift of God. I believe that this morning with all my heart. And what Nehemiah is talking about, and if you go back, and this, this is where people get confused and they don't understand. You know, they, they have things they call everybody, they call a... Uh, Church of Christ, water dog. They call uh, Free Will Baptist a name. Man, they, what they call you, they call you a handshake religion. All you gotta do is shake hands and everything's all right. You know, and they put categories on everything that you talk about, every kind of preacher that you talk about. But listen, there's not but one God there's not but one way to heaven. That's right. And that's by the grace of God. Amen. 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 Now, these, now what he's talking about here, he's talking about the nation of Israel. What he said, he said, Nevertheless, for thy great mercy sake, thou didst not consume them, yeah. them being the nation of Israel, the Amen. Jewish people. And we can be put into into a category along with them. Listen, they've done everything wrong. Not everything, but they were revolt against God. They would do different things. Listen, when they wouldn't go into Canaan land. One, they made a they made a calf of a molten image. Two, they had they had idols and worshipped idols. Amen. Right. Everywhere you turned around, but listen, the nation of Israel was doing something wrong. They were doubting God. They were doing things that were wrong. just like us every day of our life. But listen, I, it's time to wipe the cake ice off of it and preach the truth. Amen. There's not a one of you in here That's that right. didn't sin against God yesterday. That's Amen. Right. Amen. You should have done something that you didn't do. Amen. And you've done something that you shouldn't do. Amen. Right. Every day of your life, brother, we do things that's contrary to God. There are people at home today ought to be in the house Amen. of God. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. But listen, as we go through this message, you'll see what I'm talking to you about. That God, the Bible said, Nehemiah, 
He said his great mercies, amen. I studied one time about mercy and grace, and, and I looked up definitions about mercy and grace. Now listen, if I define mercy, and it's as easy and simple as I can make it, mercy is you not getting what you deserve. That's right. Amen? Yeah. You, I didn't get caught with a big bond up at uh, uh, Twin Falls or something. Linda don't know nothing about it. And so here comes Linda in the car. Amy said, oh, God, have mercy on me. <laughs> Amen? <laughs> he better have mercy on him. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> but, but mercy... I could leave that game. <laughs> Mercy is not getting what you deserve. That's right. Huh? That's right. You talk about people, you get caught up in it, and it's God have mercy on me. Yeah. That's mercy. Yeah. Grace is different. Mm -hmm. Well, grace and faith is listen. Grace is getting what you don't deserve. Yeah. They, <laughs> there's not a one of us in here this morning. That deserves heaven. That's right. There's not a one of us in here this morning that deserved Jesus Christ dying for That's us. That's right. But he did. Amen. And it's time you come down off your self righteous high horse That's and right. listen to what I'm trying to tell you. Amen. Really listen. There's not grace and mercy. God is a merciful God. God is a great God. God is a gracious God. And, it, and you just keep on and on and on and on when you go to it. But here's the thing about it. He's what he's talking about.